This is a car configurator project that we downloaded online. It inherently came with some really nice logic in terms of blueprints and functionality that made it really simple for us to build a controller and just hook those components directly up to the Unreal project. We baked the project down as an executable and we are running it here as a pixel stream on our website. Um, that, that has been a, a, a really nice way for us to present um, the platform as a whole, whether we're on uh, video calls um, and, and showing different clients what we're building. That gives the option for the clients as we're presenting to go onto our site, check out a live stream of the, um, of the car running, modify it themselves. And then what we also have is this little info modal that allows you to scan this QR code from a mobile device or just click this launch the controller button and it'll bring you to our web controller for the car. So this is what the controller looks like in a web browser. Um, it has all the main features that were built into the car by default. So we've got little toggles for all the UMG interface items uh, drop downs that we built to select the level. Those are being sent as a string and then we use that string to change the level. Um, we have a little sponsor image example here. Uh, we built that image in as a decal into the level uh, just to provide an example of how you can load images in. These are actually images that are being pulled from a, a Dropbox and being pushed into the level when you select them. Um, and then a couple other things, you notice there are some switch options here in terms of style. There's a small one, kind of a larger one, and this medium one. So for each component, we're working out a lot of different style options so that users have some flexibility and how they choose to kind of add emphasis to different parts of their controller and that sort of thing. Uh, here's another example of that. There's a radial uh, dial that we've built that uh, rotates the car. And as you can see, it's tied up to this camera scrub that I can click and drag. Those two components, when we built the controller, we simply tied those up to the same channel. And because they're tied up to the same channel, it's one blueprint plugin in Unreal that's being driven by two different UI components in sync. So if I just minimize this window so that you can see both at once, Notice what happened when I changed the browser size. The, the viewer knows uh, the size of the browser that you're using and whether it's a mobile device and it will conform the controller that you've built and resize it um, to be uh, optimized for whatever that device may be. And, um, and so that's a really nice feature. And also if you click on um, one of the images or some of the other items that you can edit, um, it now is in more of a mobile format, this panel, um, to, um, to provide you a little better user experience. If I change this back to a web browser size, notice it changed back to more of a web uh, experience. So there's some really nice versatility in, um, in how we optimized um, the, the viewer. And so I'll go back here, close this little modal, click start. And resume. One thing also to note is if I go and change the level the components will reset to their default state, so all the doors are now closed. And because of the persistence that we've set up, we are publishing when a new level is loaded back to the controller what all the default states should be for all of these UI components so that, again, your UI is always up to date with whatever the, um, whatever the state is of your project. So I hope that gives you a good idea of, um, of how you can kind of operate a, a different type of demo. If, uh, if you'd like to see this uh, more interactively and kind of mess with it yourself, just reach out to us and let us know.